Hey, hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today is a different kind of video because it's going to be a product review slash general outline of what I'm doing with the Prelude, which as you guys have know has been a main point of my frustrations. But if you guys didn't see the video where I did show this, I do have a JDM H22A block kindly donated by my buddy Randy. There's a uh, Here's all the info if anyone wants to chime in, but as you know, they are an FRM block, but it's closed deck, so no need for a block guard. Obviously, you couldn't put one on, and if you tried, uh, the only weakness is the FRM sleeves, which actually are a strong point because they keep friction down. Porsches use them, you know, some performance cars use them, um, but their compatibility with forged pistons is very limited in what you can do. But the rods aren't, which brings me to this. I have a couple things here in this box, mainly this, that I'll be talking about in this video. So, let's go ahead and uh, do an unboxing on a cheap set of rods. Okay, so, Max Peating Rods. So, I heard of this company through like the coilover reviews and all that because I was looking up like alternatives to coilovers and all that. Naturally, everyone can't afford you know, thousand dollar coilover. So they do make a cheaper alternative to the expensive brands, but this is a cheaper alternative to the expensive brands as well. Doesn't sacrifice any quality. So I'll get into more details, but for now we'll just do the unboxing because I haven't unwrapped these and uh, I really want to see them. So Forge Connecting Raj H22 from what I know right now, because I'm going to have to read a couple things, obviously. Uh, they're 800 horsepower capable. They're forged 4340 aircraft chrome molly. Very strong metal, very nice. The packaging, if anyone wants to know. These are, uh, you can get some links, get some, get your email addresses, so there actually is support for this stuff. These do come with a warranty. Oh, this better be in frame. All right, it's in frame. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. Because I know whether it's, you know, $300, $200, or $1,000. And everyone, everyone wants to see what they're buying before they buy it. So, customer service card, like I said, it's not like those eBay rods that you buy that have no support. It's just literally a, a no-name rod that uh, may or may not be good. These guys back it up with a warranty and they have customer service. So, that should be a little bit of peace of mind for you guys. So here, very important, you also get a spec sheet, Forge 4340. If it'll focus, there you go. H-beam H -beam con rods. Then you get your insulation instructions. This is what you get here. So each rod is wrapped not once but twice. My hands are about to get real slimy. Go ahead and pull that out. I don't want to rip this too much. Like I said, I want to put this right back on it. And there we go. So that's the rod. All the machining looks very precise. It's not some China garbage that is, you know, kind of iffy to look at and you just hope it works. This is a really nice product and for a very good price. Not, And they don't make them for just the H22, they make them for many cars, Volkswagens, bunch of stuff. The link will be in the description. I don't know how much you can see of that, but they do come with ARP2000 hardware, which is nice because that means I don't have to buy hardware. And the nicer thing is these rods coming at a price roughly 100 to 200 to 300 to 500 less than the competition. So. I think that's a pretty good savings right there because if, if you were going to buy rods that are $900, you can buy rods and pistons for that price if you go with these rods. So that's them. Again, I'll give you guys a closer look at everything. Now Max Peating Rods is a friend of the channel, so we'll be working with them closely in the future on uh, maybe some more products. So. If you guys would like to see rods made for any specific car, leave it in the comments and uh, maybe we can work something out. So that's the rod up close, that's all that stuff. So let me just put that there because that looks really nice for product placement, you know what I mean? So good news for you guys uh, in Germany because these are TUV certified so they do have the certification to be able to put them in your car so you can legally drive it on the road. Like I said, they do include genuine ARP 2000 rod bolts. 
Um, there is an extra cost for upgrading to the L19 bolts, so you can do that if you know if you see fit or if need be. These are balanced to plus or minus one gram per set, so you won't have to worry about that. Like I said, this isn't just like a eBay cast done. These will hold six to 800 horsepower per set, which is, you know, a lot more than I'll need for now, maybe. But that's good news for you guys who wanna get big power without spending big money, which is always a plus. The big and small ends are also finished by a Sunin honing machine. Don't, I hope I pronounced that right. Sunin, Sunin honing, Sunin or Sunin honing machine. Uh, the hone looks amazing on them. There's no nicks, scratches, nothing as I showed you guys. These are 115% x-ray tested and Magnaflux, so they, like I said, I could keep saying this as many times as I want, but they don't just slap these together and, you know, send them out. These are actually tested and proven, and it will be proven on my engine, so you guys will see exactly how durable these are when I decide to push my engine because for now I need my car to run but maybe in the summer we'll see what these rods can really do and the pistons that I just ordered. They do come with the bronze bushing suitable for a floating wrist pin which is good because the wrist pins that came with my pistons are floating wrist pins so these will work out great. And they're also multi-stage heat treated which if you're watching this video and looking for rods should probably convince you. Click the damn link in the description all right. And like I said, they do come with a warranty, so if anything were to happen, if there was a defect or anything, the warranty would cover it and they'd send you out a new set. But now, I'm gonna go get someone who's built multiple, you know, big horsepower engines and uh, has used very, very expensive parts and uh, get his opinion on these. <clears throat> I told him I was gonna get Ronnie because he's a, cr a critic of, uh, of cheap stuff. Well, just looking at them, they don't look bad. They look like they, they look like manly rods, actually, just eyeballing them. Like, look, there's no, like, rough casting or anything on them. Do you know what a Sunin hone machine is? Yep. That's what these are honed with or whatever. I was just reading that off the, uh, off the website. I didn't know what it was, though. It's brass, so, for floating pins yeah. and stuff. See how this is beveled here? Yep. That's nice, no sharp edges, no nothing. It's not beveled here, but I mean. That's in the piston. It's brass, so it'll, it's not gonna catch, you know? It's not gonna wear nothing. It's a good looking rod. It looks just like a manly rod. And it has the ARP hardware as well. These are steel rods, right? Chromoly, so. Chromoly? Yeah. They're not aluminum rods. No, I got aluminum nuts for Zuby. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not so heavy for a, no, this this will hold some power, dude. Yeah, yeah it, says, it, says, power. it says six to eight hundred, but I think that may just be for <clears> warranty. <throat> well, so you're talking two hundred fucking two hundred fifty horse per cylinder with a rod like this. That's a lot of power. Yeah, that's definitely a lot. And I have this forged pistons. No problem. I have forged pistons coming, so maybe in the summer. When these are these are torque to yield bolts, so you need a micrometer. They are ARPs. ARP 2000. So well, see, they, they give you both. They give you the, the uh, foot pounds and they give you the distance. So oh, okay, cool. You could always do the foot pound and, and check the distance for to be correct. So if the, the distance, you know, the measurement is within that, then mm -hmm. you're good. I'm gonna need your help with that. No big deal. That. We can. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to use the point ones. You can go from here to here, but yeah, whatever. no big deal. I got how it. Works. It's this diesel all the shit with the power, dude. Did they give you all the weights and everything? Balance? Yeah, they are. They got the balance. They got the balancing. Everything right on the. I didn't even side notice that. Awesome. They, they say like don't um, don't swap like caps because they're balanced like together or whatever. Yeah, they're honed together. Well, it is. Yes. Yeah. True. Also, balanced they're balanced and honed. and honed for less than three hundred bucks. You can't beat that. Mine were not three hundred bucks. How much for yours? Uh, nine hundred actually. I literally just said I was like some rods are like nine hundred bucks. Well, if you spend a third of that, you could probably get some pistons as well for the same price. But I mean, time will tell. I think the pistons were. And you guys will definitely see. Crazy like that. I don't know. Like I said, not right now because I need the car to drive. Like I want to make sure it drives and get everything broken in nice. But um, maybe in the spring, I'll like register the van or something, <laughs> and uh, maybe me and Ronnie will take a trip to the dyno and see what these will do. With the first oh, yeah. pistons that I got, had to have a. Uh, hey, we can compare them because mine will be in Wednesday. 
But oh. it won't be in this video, apparently. No, it won't be in this video, but <clears throat> uh, we'll we'll do a side by side to his uh, Subi rods. What brand are those? Uh, they're Manly's. Manly's. Manly H beams. So yeah, we can have a direct comparison as well as a part of another. Maybe maybe I could put that in the video of me taking apart the H22 block. That would yeah, because I, I got to take the other F20B off the engine stand, get that one on it, and get the crank and everything off that, so I could send that off to get the um, to get the to get it decked, get rid of those little dents in it. Yeah, I just wanted uh, wanted Ronnie's opinion on on these because you've seen a lot more of these. Hey, these are better than the stock ones he keeps putting in there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, here's a, here's a comparison. Not very uh, not very hefty. It doesn't take much to see that this is gonna be better than this. By what? What do you say? How much per hold do you think a stock rod will hold? Huh. Forty horse. Maybe. Forty horse per hold. <laughs> Reliably. I mean, think about it. These these horse. these on the on the website say will support six to eight hundred, so it's probably more than that. <clears throat> but usually they undershoot. Like if you look at a piston, it'll be like a forged piston. And it'll say like don't go above what like two fifty per hole or some shit. Yeah. And then but that's you know we got people pushing. Evos with 3,000 horsepower and crazy stuff like that, but yeah, there's your comparison to a, a stock F20B rod versus max speeding rods, H22 rod. Maybe I'll have a 600 horsepower prelude this summer or something. So I know that was a lot of talking, but uh, most of the people that are watching this video are maybe not within the first day or two, but if anyone is curious and wants to know what these are, and what they're like, what they're like to unpack, what they hold, how they're made, what they're made of. Hopefully this video was educational to you guys. Um, I know it's a little bit different than some of my videos, but I have done videos like product reviews before, like with the GK Tech Angle Kit. Only difference is I can't install these right now because I'm waiting on my pistons and also I need to get that block decked. So coming soon, H22A. Forged H beams provided by Max Speeding Rods. Huge shout out to them. They're having a Halloween sale right now, so go down to the link in the description, click that shit, check them out. If you have a car, they probably have a part for it. If you want to boost something, if you want to strengthen anything, if you want to lower something, they probably have a part for it. So, link will be in the description again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.